Bro, tell me if this has ever happened to you. You double-click speed.exe. You're excited to play NFS Most Wanted. And then, boom, speed.exe has stopped working. The game doesn't even open. Your whole mood just dies. But don't worry. Today, I'm going to show you two fully working methods, step by step. Method one is super easy. Method two fixes everything and even unlocks high resolution. So watch carefully, because one of these will 100% fix your game today. Let's go. All right, bro. Before we start, just follow my steps exactly. Don't rush, don't skip, and trust me, your NFS Most Wanted will run smooth like butter after this. Also, make sure DirectX, Microsoft Visual C++, and .NET Framework are installed. If not, grab the links from the description and install them quickly. Okay, now let's finally fix this annoying speed.exe crash. Method 1. Compatibility fix. Easy and fast. Start with this, because if Method 1 works for you, you won't even need Method 2. Alright, so here's the deal. Whenever you open the game and it instantly shows speed.exe has stopped working, this is usually a Windows compatibility problem. So here's what we do. Go to your NFS Most Wanted Game folder. Find speed.exe, the main launcher. Here, right-click on speed.exe, then click on Properties, and now go to the Compatibility tab. Now check. Run this program in compatibility mode for Choose Windows XP Service Pack 3. Check this option too. Run in 640 by 480 screen resolution. And check this. Run this program as an administrator. Okay, now wait. We're not done. This part is super important for Windows 10 and 11. Click Change Settings for All Users. Repeat everything again. Check these options again. Windows XP Service Pack 3. Run in 640 by 480. Run as as administrator. Now, hit apply, then OK. Again, click apply and then OK. Perfect. Now comes the moment of truth. Run the game from speed.exe. And boom, the game should open without crashing. But hold on, you'll notice something. The game runs fine, but it's stuck in low resolution, not full screen. And inside the game settings, you can't change it. That's because compatibility mode forces the low resolution mode. So what do we do now? We go to method two, where we fix everything and get full HD resolution. Methods two, 3D analyze. Fix, high resolution plus no crashes. This is the method that makes your game look clean, smooth, and full HD. Don't miss any step. All right, bro, let's do this. First, open Google, type 3D analyzer. Open the link from Softpedia and here, click on download. Choose the version which one you want to download, US or EU, doesn't matter. And then, your download will start in a few seconds. Once downloaded, right-click the zip file and go to WinRAR and select Extract to 3D Analyzer. Once extracted, open that folder. If you see another RAR file inside, extract that too. Now open the new folder that just extracted. And here, right-click 3danalyze.exe, then select Run as Administrator. The tool will open. Here, click selectfind.exe file, and here we will select speed.exe. Now, important, enable force windowed mode. This is what stops the crash and allows high resolution. Then hit run. And just watch the magic happen. Hi, Look at that. The I game opens the instantly. No errors, no crashing, just pure NFS goodness. Now the best part, full resolution, full screen, smooth performance, no compatibility mode, no low resolution screen, no speed.exe errors. Now you're finally playing NFS Most Wanted the way it should be played. And that's it, bro. You just fixed the most annoying error in NFS Most Wanted 2005. Speed.exe has stopped working. Gone. Low resolution. Fixed. High resolution. Unlocked. Now tell me in the comments, which method worked for you? Method 1 or method 2? I want to know. If you love this tutorial, hit that like button, share with your NFS friends, and subscribe for more NFS fixes and gameplay tips. And hey, if your game still crashes after playing for some time, just comment Game Crash, because my next video will be how to fix NFS Most Wanted crashing after a few minutes, and I'll make that for you as soon as possible. This is C70 Zanny Gaming, signing off. Enjoy the game, bro.